get the doorbell then. Somebody just came up to it. It's the hooker. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Oh snap. <laughs> Can I come in? He just raises his brows like Sure. What are you doing here? You didn't give me what I paid my 50 bucks for, so you're not welcome. Or he offers to take her coat. Let me take your coat. What a nice guy. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you want a drink? Yes, glass of water. Please. Take a seat, I'll get it. At least she remembers how to say please. Didn't really expect to see her again. I wonder what she wants. I uh, don't know. Let's get her a glass of water and find out. <clears throat> Man, I'm clogged up. <laughs> there you go, sweetheart. Let me get you some of some whiskey too, just to break the ice. Thanks. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside him, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? You remember anything else about the letter? Wait a minute. Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Is it possible that that's the same letter that Ethan got with the nursery rhyme, so... And the locker ticket? So there really is, like, a connection between the, the fathers disappearing and the kids and all that, so... Oh, not particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Thank you. Are you going to give me my... What I gave you? Well, thanks for your help, Lord. Oh, I'll shit. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, press the I... Button. I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Give me what I paid my money Ever for. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. No. The answer is no. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. Oh, bitch. It's all or nothing. Blackmail. Um, it's dangerous. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. <laughs> Wait. That's pretty awesome. You're yeah. really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. And a prostitute. Are we partners? Partners in crime. Shake her <sighs> hand. We're partners. Well, isn't that Peachy Keen? Now we have to have watch out for Lauren just so, she, just so she doesn't get herself hurt. Maybe you better stay in the car. Yeah, muchacho. Now stop your complaining. Mr. Scott Shelby invited to a premiere party. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wood tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? 
But now I just have a few questions that need answers. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. Damn, a lot of cars. Maybe one of them is that Chevel, Chevrolet 83. Security guard earned his payoff. Seems there really is a party going on tonight. Stupid to bring them on. I don't do partners too well. <laughs> All that just to get my hands on that stupid envelope. Yes, you don't do partners that well, right? Down. We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we going to be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm going to go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. Okay? Okay. Just let me know if you need me. Oh, oh, right. I'm playing a game. <laughs> well, I'm here. Might as well have a drink. All right. Let's talk to this guy first. Hi! Great party, huh? Hi! <laughs> Hi, Bernardi. He's totally drunk. Uh, well, let's get better acquainted, pal! <laughs> oh, you're my kind of guy! I like you! <laughs> My friend! I don't know how I like it. Maybe this job does have its perks. Now I got me a new friend. And what was the point of that? Um here's here's the drinks. Can I get one? Can I get one? There we go. Whiskey straight up, no ice. Getting drunk on the job. What a way to, what a way to work, man. What a way to work. Anything over here? Hey, man. Whoa, what the hell? You know me out? Do I look like a dealer? Get out of here. Get out of here! He totally sounds like he, uh, he's from Brooklyn or something, or from New York. He has that awesome accent, you know? God damn it. Walk the way I tell you to walk. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Finding someone who isn't smashed or doped up to the gills would be a miracle. Oh. And I need one right now. Let's see if he's bodyguards now. Um, Hi, I'd like to see Gordy. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Ah, oh, assholes. Bust them? Bust their heads? Maybe bust a few heads. Yeah, not tempting. But not such a good idea. Too many goon-shaped reinforcements around here. Look, Cinder fella. The clock's just turned 12, and I don't want to have to turn you into a pumpkin. Real smart, fella. Bet you won't be so funny with my foot up your ass. Well, let's see, let's see you beat my ass then. Come on. Uh, I want to see Gordy Kramer. I'm going to have to go about it some other way. Uh, maybe our new friend can help us. Whoa. You see that guy over there? Do you know what he said about you? What'd he say? He said your mother was fat. The bastard! <laughs> sort him out! Yes, you do that. Make my job you a hell of a lot easier. He's just all confused and everything. Alright, our plan worked. Our diversionary tactics. Oh, you're a big man. I'm a bigger man than you. Just go. Hey, 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 hey. 
Oh my god, I'm, I'm stuck. There we go. Ooh, they just punched him out cold. Or did they? I don't, I can't tell. Alright, we're in.